Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another resource showcase. Today we're back in with the first Red M resource that we have to showcase here on the channel. So if you've made a Red M resource and you want one showcased on the channel, then message me on the Discord below. However, today the shout out goes to Blue from Sin Scripts, Blue from Sin County, which is a massive Red M server. Go and check it out, it's pretty damn awesome. And Blue is also the owner creator of the VORP framework which is one of the main, if not the main, framework used on Red M servers. So without Blue, this wouldn't have been possible. We've got quite a few different resources to showcase here on the channel, but today we're starting with the Sin Stable. What Sin Stable is, it is a resource where you can buy your horses, you can buy your vehicles, buy all the tack for your horses, but not only that, it also includes the horse trainer job, which is a massive thing here in Red M. Uh, we're currently in the Commonwealth. This server is called the Commonwealth. It's a test server for these resource showcases. You know, I like tinkering around with... Uh, depend. It doesn't matter what game. It, if I can have a little tinker around and have a little de develop myself, then I will. So, we're in the test server. We've now come into the stable. And we've got a prompt in the bottom right, which is asking us to open up the stable. So, let's open up the stable. And we'll be greeted by a little menu where we can purchase what we need. I already own one horse called Snowy the... Snowy the Gypsy Cop. So this is Snowy here. So I could, if I wanted to, resell the horse for a percentage of what I bought him. Uh, so this is where all your, your owned horses will go. Everything's editable in the config as well. So if you want to change the prices, you want to be able to store more horses. This isn't an obfuscated resource, so you are you you can do that. So wagons, so if I owned any of the vehicles, this is where the wagons would go store this is where you're going to purchase your horse and as you can see there's quite a few different horses and loads of tack then we've got the vehicles if you wanted to purchase a wagon then there's all your wagons so let's go back to the store uh for testing purposes we're going to buy any horse let's get a let's what should we get let's just get a um let's get a mustang so let's go down to the mustang and here you'll have all the different types all the different colors of the horses so we've got a Golden Dawn, we've got a Chestnut Tavaro, a Wild Bay, a Buckskin, a Black Alvaro. Let's get a Black Alvaro. So if we click the price and we get choose the sex type, so male or a female, let's choose male. Are you sure you want to purchase this horse? I am sure. Name the horse. Let's call him Jet, Jet Black. Press enter. And that is our horse purchased. Now to get this horse out of your stable, let's repress the bottom right uh, left alt. And let's go across to the stable. And now you'll see we own two horses. Uh, stable. So we've got Snowy and we've got Jet. So if we click on Jet, let's go select. There he is. And let's go confirm. So that is him out. So now if we go anywhere. Come on, Jet. I want to meet you near, buddy. There he is. He's up at the bank. This is Jet. So there's our purchased horse. So let's go into back into the stable to have a look at the tack you can buy. Alright, so let's open up the menu again. So you can buy your saddles, you can buy your lanterns, and etc. So let's go into the tack. So you get your cloth, let's buy a cloth, let's buy a saddle. Uh, let's just get one of everything. Uh, horns, bags, tails. Let's go with the main, bed rolls. Lantern, mask, mustache, I don't know about that. Uh, bridles, holster, let's go horseshoes. Let's go confirm. Alright, so if we now re re whistle our horse, we should now be kitted up, which he is. He's got everything on him that we need. Okay, so with this in stable, you can also, you've got your inventory of the horse. If I wanted to put something over on, on the horse, if we go to. Just drag that across there. Quantity one. So the horse has an inventory. So if we go back into our inventory, we go back over to the horse. Check the horse cargo. There's my my carrot that I just stored. This is all persistent and it will save. So yeah, pretty awesome. Right, one thing you can do now, coming on from the stables, is the horse trainer job. So if you're set, so if we go set job one, actually let's just check my ID. Uh, ID is one. Set job one horse trainer horse trainer one okay so we're now a horse trainer if we go back over to the horse we can use our U muscle and we can check out the information for the horse 
So the horse name is Jet. The horse training level is one. The horse, there's four different levels your horse can train to. He's level one at the minute. Horse training experience is four out of 2,450. You can give the ownership of the horse to somebody else. Are you sure? So the player ID. Hey, get back here. He said, don't tell me. Come on, Jet, come back. He thinks I don't love him. It is. Right, so I'm now a horse trainer. So some things I can do to increase the... So as you'll see, when you're riding the horse... Oh, the stamina is still already pretty good. That's pretty pretty cool. But normally the horse's stamina isn't that good. But these Mustangs are pretty beast. Right, so as a horse trainer, we can. So if I go into my menu, I can... I can everything I do to my horse, like feed the horse, brush the horse... Uh, or use a horse stimulant, which are illegal. It will, it will increase the horse's experience, XP. So as you can see, now it's gone up to eight. So there's four different levels, like I say. The more you interact with the horse, I, either by feeding him, brushing him, or leading him, walking the horse, the more the experience will go up, and then you can get a fully trained horse. This is how the horse trainer works. Uh, so one other thing we can do, let's just get rid of that, sorry. Let's go back into our inventory. Let's give him a brush. So it was on eight. So watch it increase. It's a good horse. So now when we check. Oh, does the horse, does the, the brush not? Okay, the brush might not increase it, but the, the food does. I've got no food left. Let me just quickly go to the shop and get some more hay. In here. So let's buy some horse brush, no, some hay cubes. Let's get some of them. Yes, thank you. Let's thank you. Where's his horse gone? Come on, buddy. So let's feed him again. So he was on eight. Is he still on eight? Let's have a look. Oh, no, he has increased. It has gone to 14. Just took a little uh, little sec. So let's give him some more hay cube. Who's our good lad? Okay, okay. Right, so one other thing you can do. So the, the feeding, the brushing increases the horse. So it's gone up to 16 now. So as a horse trainer, if you played on many 5M, sorry, on many, I'm used to 5M, many Red M servers, you'll, you'll often see the horse trainers walking around with the horses. And they walk for miles to get that horse trained up. So then it has a lot more stamina. So let's go for a little walk around the block. That's a funky mask you got on there, Jet. Alright, so let's stop leading. Hasn't gone up yet. Let's go. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Let's lead him again. Come on. Come on. I've seen people walking out miles with the horse training them up. Stop leaving that. Come on. Let's walk to the other side. Let's walk to the other side, near bird. Let's get him trained. It's one of the bigger, bigger jobs here in Red M is the horse trainer. It's a very uh, sought after and needed. People need that, that stamina for the horse. As you can see, this town's all blockaded off as well. There's only one way in or one way out here, bud. So let's go around here. The town's been taken over by bandits. So be careful while entering Valentine. Whatever you say, here, buddy. Depending on your horse level as well, there is commands. So I could make him uh, drink. I could make him rest. I could make him sleep. I could make him wallow. But they'll, they'll only work as the horse training level increases and at the minute he's the standard uh, level one 
I stopped leading the horse. So as you can see, he's gone up to 22 out of 2450. So a lot of walking would be needed to increase the horse's training level. But yeah, a pretty damn awesome resource made by Blue. So not only have you got all the stables, all the vehicles, the wagons, the tack for the horse, you now have the horse trainer's job, which is a very much so needed job here in Red M. So if you'd like to purchase this for your own server, the links will be down below. A massive shout out to Blue. And yeah, if you want to see more Red M resources, just put down below Red M or 5M. But I'll try and keep them both coming anyway. Take care for now, amigos. Peace out. Ta-da.